Hi there, this is Berkut13 and this is a video in response to Hiram Cook's and Colorado Camper's tests of the West Wind Trangia stove. Um, I already had a, I already had these stoves and uh, I wanted to do a little testing. Uh, I do a lot of aircraft camping and always love coffee in the morning and currently I prepare the coffee in this six cup, uh, six cup percolating coffee pot. Um, so I did some uh, initial testing to see how long it would take to perk 32 ounces, that's you know measured that's four cups is actually the capacity in this. Uh, I don't know why that is, they say it's a six cup coffee maker and only holds four actual cups of water, but uh, be that as it may, 32 ounces um, of water in this vessel with both these stoves. Um, I did some testing with a standard commercial Trangia burner uh, using methanol and a timer just to get some uh, times on how it performed. And I was always curious as to why and, and what the timing would be using the West Wind stove properly versus upside down as we've all heard. Um, so we'll go review that real quick. I'm not going to bore you with all the individual tests. First test I ran was with the standard West Wind. It has a burner height of three quarters of an inch and again that's 32 ounces, you know, four cups of water in the uh, percolator. Uh, produced a time of 14 minutes and 40 seconds, which for me waiting that long plus the perk time uh, for coffee in the morning would be pretty horrendous. Uh, so hoping uh, that the mini tea, mini Trangia stove would do better, um, I tried that one out. It has a burner height, burner to uh, pot bottom height of 7 eighths, just 1 eighth of an inch larger. Or uh, get, yielded a lower time of 11 minutes and 2 seconds. Now I thought, well, since the burner height was only an eighth of an inch difference and I made a substantial improvement, uh, we try the standard upside down configuration of the West Wind stove and that gives a burner height of 1 inch, 1 and 3 quarter inches, which is substantially bigger. Um, I don't like this. I don't think I would ever use this uh, stove, at least with this size pot, in the field because it just barely touches these corner edges, um, which makes it very unstable and on any sort of unlevel ground, uh, this thing would be almost impossible to keep straight, especially when it starts percolating and vibrates a little bit and uh, <laughs> would probably end up spilling more than it's worth. So I've got to come up with something a little bit better in the future. I will definitely be making uh, the suggested modifications of taking at least a quarter of an inch uh, out of these notches, lowering the stove, increasing that flame distance, and also notching or uh, cutting off a section of this area so that you can still use the simmer ring. Um, but in this configuration upside down, the west wind, or reverse rest west wind as I called it, uh, brought in a time of 8 minutes and 51 seconds. Not bad. So it went from the standard of 14 minutes and 40 seconds to 8 minutes and 51 seconds. So because of that improvement, uh, I wanted to see if it was the flame height specifically or the, the surrounding or the reflective qualities of having more metal around it. Uh, what was it that was making the upside down west wind so much more efficient? So I created a just a simple uh, hardware cloth circle. This is three and a half inches in diameter. Um, it is uh, the same height uh, from the ground and of course the Trangia burner is going to be resting on the ground here so it has the same burner height to pot ratio or measurement rather uh, as the upside down west wind stove and I've tried this both with and without the addition of the aluminum foil and this is uh, a combination windscreen heat shield really simply it's a uh, uh, it's just a double thickness of heavy duty aluminum foil uh, with some notches cut on the end that interlace let's see where that joint is interlace uh, into the hardware cloth and I cut some holes in the, uh, you know, attach it, wrap it, and then come around the other side, cut some holes, and simply just lace that back in. And then you can fill the holes back up, and they just wrap around the, uh, the hardware cloth. 
and it's a you know very simple, very lightweight uh, version. But this was mainly for testing. I don't know if I'll ever use this in the field or not, but I just wanted to see what the results would be. So continuing with the previous test with 32 ounces of uh, water in the percolator pot, the cloth only uh, pot stand with a train G of burner um, produced a time of nine minutes. Not too bad. I mean, it's uh, actually a little bit, that's uh, within 10 seconds of the reverse west wind. So it's a little less efficient, but not that much. So I don't think there was too much, um, there wasn't too much effect here, uh, you know, provided by the heat shield, uh, simply from confining the, the heat into a column and making it more efficient, uh, or a, making a more efficient transfer to the bottom of the pot. Um, However, this being open like that, if you look at the cross view, there's a, there's a lot of opening there for the wind to get in. So uh, just to test the theory, I wanted to go ahead and wrap that and uh, make it a little more efficient or the maximum efficiency. And you notice that I uh, have very little opening at the bottom here for the, for the air to come in. That's to keep this, this to have the most wind resistance as possible. And it's also quite choked up here at the top. There's not much um, distance between the top of the shield and the bottom of the pot. And I did that on purpose to try to keep the flame as squelched, squelched down onto the pot as possible. I don't know if you can really see that here, but uh, if I center the pot, you can just barely see that opening under there. So I ran that test, uh, and the cloth foil, this is again 32 ounces, uh, four cups cloth plus the shield brought the efficiency way up and yielded a time of 6 minutes and 43 seconds. Now that's pretty darn good. Uh, that's uh, nearly two minutes off of the reverse Trangia stove time. Okay, So I think that uh, that efficiency was brought in by the clamping down of this area um, and, and focusing all of the heat into a column and its uh, transfer to the bottom of the pot was very, very efficient. Now I'm going to run some more tests. I'm going to bring the water amount down to uh, 16 ounces or 2 cups. So this, uh, this configuration, actually all of the configurations previously discussed um, will be more of an apples to apples comparison to the previous tests. And here they go. The standard west wind uh, stove with 16 ounces in the percolator pot um, yielded a time of 8 minutes and 42 seconds. The reversed west wind stove dropped that time to 5 minutes and 27 seconds. Um, also tried the uh, cloth stand only, with no heat shield, yielded a time of 6 minutes and 3 seconds. And the cloth plus the windscreen and 16 ounces brought it down to 4 minutes and 14 seconds. Now we're starting to get into the territory of jet burners. Um, it's a pretty impressive uh, uh, efficiency. Uh, I will make a couple of notes here that uh, <laughs> when it was burning that hot, these, um, these top parts of the hardware cloth were glowing bright, bright yellow. Uh, very, very hot heat transfer. And actually, I don't, uh, I've got water in this at the moment, but I don't know if you can see the bottom of the pot here. Now it kind of scored it, and that's after cleaning. Um, it also made this little ring on the table. Uh, so I've since uh, this next test, I'm going to have a, a little aluminum pad underneath here to keep some of the heat away. And again, all of the tests here were uh, sorry were allowed to um, bloom, and uh, my my stove gives a pretty proper bloom. You'll hear it probably as it uh, starts up. Let me turn off some lights. All right. Listening for the pop. And there we have Blossom. So we'll put the uh, stove on here gingerly and start the timer. Let me move that into the light so you can see it. Very quickly while this was cooking, you can see how orange that's already become. And if you look down in there, the, the entire <laughs> center of this stove has become flame. It has just been completely filled with flame. It's extremely hot in there and it's hitting right in the middle of the pot. Um, I'm actually kind of worried about the, <laughs> the camera. It's very hot even out to here. Um, it's, ex it, it's really pretty supreme. 
uh, I'm quite impressed. We're only at the 230 mark and I can already hear the water inside starting to boil. Okay, three minutes and 53 seconds and uh, percolation is pretty imminent. So I'm going to let it ride on out from here. And we'll just take a look as it comes. Again, my criteria is to see a full perk, that means the water coming out of the spout uh, and into the window and hitting the top twice in a row in rapid succession. And it's starting to perk now. That's There's two perks in a row. So, conclusions. Um, I can conclude that this, uh, already nice and cool to the touch here, um, that the hardware cloth and um, reflector configuration windscreen is the most efficient combination. <clears throat> I don't know if it's very fieldable and it certainly doesn't pack down flat. I guess you could put it uh, maybe inside. I might cut that down just a tad. It might fit inside this. Yeah, it would. It fit inside the uh, pot itself and uh, underneath the percolator uh, canister and that might work out. Uh, certainly wouldn't be able to get that in there. But um, Anyway, this is the most, configure, uh, most efficient configuration. <clears throat> However, it certainly doesn't uh, beat the upside down west wind by very much. And uh, that's, a <clears throat> that's a shame because I really like to uh, use this thing right side up. But I guess I'll just have to design an oven or a stove pot holder myself <laughs> that comes uh, comes close to this configuration that maybe is a little more transportable. I don't know. Future configuration. Anyway, uh, Hiram Cook, Colorado Camper, thanks again for your uh, efforts previously and uh, uh, I'll probably shoot uh, another video with once I make the modifications here and maybe add that to the list. Uh, until then, happy camping!